loyalty to the musician. Matthew chapter 1, starting at verse 18, that familiar story. Matthew chapter 1, starting at verse 18. Let's see Brother Brock then in service this morning. Amen. Matthew chapter 1, verse 18. Uh, now, the birth of Jesus was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph. Before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. And Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately, that's privately. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thy son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife. For that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son. And they shall call his name Emmanuel, yes. which being interpreted is God with us. Yes. Then Joseph, being raised from his sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife, and knew her not until she had brought forth her firstborn son. And he called his name Jesus. I want to talk about connecting the carpenter to the Christ. Connecting the carpenter to the Christ. There are benefits in connecting to the Christ. There are benefits in connecting to the Christ. The, Christ. the advantage of a passage like this, everybody know it. So I don't have to go over a whole lot of details. The disadvantage is everybody know it. So <laughs> go over a lot of details. There are benefits connecting to the I'm fascinated by this man Joseph. This man who did what most men would not have done. Uh, he did what he did, I contend, because he has a special relationship with God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There are not many men who is dating a woman who is engaged to her, and she gets pregnant before he has, has a chance to be intimate with her, and she's pregnant, and he still marries her. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. He's ready to put her away privately, but he changes his mind only because of an encounter he had with God. I'm fascinated with him. I'm fascinated with him. That here is a man who alters his life because of an encounter with God. Somebody said, well, if I have invited an encounter with God, I change my life. I, I want to just run something by you. Everybody here has had an encounter with God. The question is not whether God has uh, uh, connected with you. The question is not whether God has contacted you. The question is not whether God has spoken to you. The question is, what was your response when you did it? Here, here's a man who connected with God. Let, let me start off, and I want to start, start talking about from good to great. Good to great. Good to great. <laughs> I contend that what happens in chapter 1, verses 18 through 25, takes a good man and transforms him into a great man. He, he is connected to eternity on another level. But I'm telling you, you see, Joseph wasn't a bad man to start with. He was already a good man. They said, sometimes people get satisfied with their goodness. And they're so satisfied with their goodness, they disqualify themselves for God's greatness. 
They're so busy bragging on the way they are, yeah. they don't want to accept the promotion to be something great. Yeah. Y'all better hit me today. There are a lot of folks, there are a lot of folks who are, who are so into being good, they become stale. Yeah, right. Yes. Uh, they, 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 are, they are content with mediocrity. Yeah. You see, because you, you can't connect with God. Yeah. And stay the same. No. God has a way of challenging you. Do I have a witness here? Yeah. God has a way of taking you to another level. Yeah. Yeah. He's a righteous man, but, but, but God says, I want to connect you to the Christ to make you a great man. Yeah. Well, I don't know if Joseph all that great. I don't know what he did. Well, first of all, he's the, the, the earthly daddy of the Savior of the world. Amen. I mean, that, that's good news right there. Every morning you wake up, Jesus in your house.
going to take you to. You got to go beyond logic and get to faith. Yes, yes. For the just shall live by faith. That's my idea. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm just praying to believe that God mm. can make Mary pray. And it's not, it's not all that illogical for me. Because I feel like if God can step out on nothing <laughs> and speak a whole world into existence, you don't got to have a problem making a little country girl friend. If God, if God can scoop dirt up and, and make clay and form from the dust of man,
because they've been trying to question whether God was telling the truth or not. But for Joseph has no contradiction. If it's God's word, it's got to be true. Come on here, somebody. He says, I am the way. Come on here, somebody. The truth. Not understand the Holy Spirit in the fullness that we understand. You understand? This is not Acts number two, but you also understand that the Holy Spirit is already alive. Yeah. He's not, we're not in Acts two yet, but he's already alive. He, he was there in Acts number, he was there in Genesis number one. Jesus had not been born yet, but Jesus was already alive. And Jesus was right there in Genesis number one. Ain't no showing up. They already existed. We talk about a manifestation. I wish I had somebody here. I know what truth is, and God is tied to truth, and I'm hooked on the presence of God. I, I don't understand all the details. See, for Joseph, the Holy Spirit was who inspired the prophets. The Holy Spirit is what brought truth to men. The Holy Spirit is what enabled folk to recognize the truth when they heard it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, he didn't know about speaking tongue and all that kind of stuff, but he knew enough about the Holy Spirit that the Holy Spirit can validate truth when you got it. Oh, I a witness here. So, so Joseph would have us understand that, that the same Holy Spirit that made Mary pregnant is the Holy Spirit that validated what the, the Spirit told him was the truth. Yeah.
when he went to sleep, he had one evaluation of her. But when he woke up, he had a totally different one. And the only thing that happened between going to sleep and waking up was an encounter with God. about it before. It's, it's something that's fascinating to me. It's more time than one. The Bible talks about God having an encounter with the person while they are dreaming. Yes. 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 You got to be a special kind of person for God to talk to you in your dreams. He didn't wait two weeks. Uh -huh. But the Bible says he was not 